Hello, Money and Banking students. This is our first week. I want to welcome everyone to Money and Banking. I know we have a rather large cohort in this group, so as we go through this course, especially the forum discussions, um, I try to make a response to everyone, but know that I may not get to everyone in every single week, but um, one of the big parts of an online course is that forum discussion. So uh, one thing I want you to do right away is to make sure to go through the Money and Banking in the uh, go through modules in your course and read the entire expectations of the course. Uh, within that is also a rubric for the uh, forum discussions. And one of the things on this course uh, to be successful in is really to post early and to post often. You'll notice that the uh, first forum discussion post has to be done by Wednesday, has a certain length to it, and then you're expected to follow up by to one peer by at least Friday and another peer by Sunday. So I will put these mini lectures out there every Sunday to give you an overview for the week. Uh, if you go through the course, which I encourage you to do, you'll notice the different modules. So it's broken up into modules. So the learning objectives are clearly laid out for you. Uh, every week you pretty much will have a quiz, a homework, and a forum discussion. And then you have two other major projects in the group and midterm and a final exam. And if you do well and pay attention to the quizzes, that will help you quite a bit on the midterm and the final. So especially if those are quantitative problems, uh, it'll be very similar in nature, it may just be with different numbers. So, you know, practice those and be ready for those. So anyway, um, in our time period right now, I mean, the stock market is doing quite well and the economy is looking quite positive. So that is encouraging news. Uh, we do have been due administration, so there's been talk to about changes in financial market regulation, which is concerning for some, uh, as they uh, talk about in our textbook about the subprime crisis and the financial fall, which we were that close to coming to the next Great Depression. So uh, a lot of derivatives of what were called at that time credit default uh, swaps or you know ways to write insurance to protect against something that they thought could never fail. And it did fail with the mortgage-backed securities. And all these uh, firms that wrote these, they did not have the capital or the backup to really support it. So that's why it brought a lot of regulation. And it also brought a lot of consumer financial protection. But uh, the new administration, uh, typically the Republican administration, you're going to see more lax for um, getting away from deregulation or regulations, I should say. And should there be a concern? Uh, obviously, there are the, those on the banking side that would like to see less regulation, but there's also from the consumer or the economy side that are concerned that if we start repealing some of these things, we might be setting ourselves up again. So that's a little bit of the debate, you know, that's going on uh, in this arena. So for you, uh, this week we do have chapters one through four. A lot of this should be review from other classes that you've had in finance or economics. So. Uh, probably the one new thing that you'll be reading more about is duration, which is the way uh, average maturity of a bond. And it looks at really bottom line that if interest rates were to change, how sensitive is the price um, to any changes in interest rates? So as uh, was taught in previous classes that you may have taken, that bonds have inverse relationships that as the price goes up, interest rates go down, interest rates go down, bond prices go up. So those managing bond portfolios or those in the banking sector, they are, they are sensitive to changes in interest rates because that can impact their valuation and performance. So other than that, a lot of it should be reviewed. You might get some more key specific drill down on points and ideas, but, but at least the first four chapters should be a lot of review for you. So what I do is I try to jump in daily in the course just to see how things are going on. Uh, if you have questions, the best way is to check in with me via email. But other than that, uh, as again, I said, it is a large cohort, so I uh, may kind of jump around to respond to forum discussions once in a while, may not you know, respond to every single person, but I'll probably make, make my way to respond to more people as we go through the course. Uh, but do jump in early. That's the biggest thing that makes the course thriving is uh, if you all get in there and are active in the forum discussion. So. Uh, other than that, I want you to have a great week. Again, what I'll do is I said I'll do this every week. So this is for our week one uh, mini video lecture, if you will. So uh, just stay on top of things and you'll do great. Otherwise, take care and have a great week. Bye.